How's it going, aliens? My name is Alien. Today I'm back in another Identity 5 video. Today I'll be doing the patch notes analysis for the update for October 3rd slash October 4th. So let's get right into the video. <clears throat> okay, so this is probably the biggest update we have ever had in Identity 5 today. We have a new mode, new map, new hunter. But before I get into the patch notes, I will have my Discord server link in the comment section below, in the pinned comment. Please check out. Please join the Discord. It's been growing. It's a fun time. I love talking to all of my subscribers. And if you want to play with me, if you have individual questions, that is the single-handedly best place to reach me. It's on Discord. I check. I'm on it literally 24-7. So, please join the Discord server. Um, and I am back to making videos. I was sick for last week, basically all of last week and some of the week before. But I feel a lot better now. <clears throat> and I'm ready to make some videos. And there are a lot of videos I'm going to make. I have a video on, I'm going to make a video on the new map. I'm going to make a ranking video for best hunters in 8v2, a ranking video for best survivors in 8v2, um, <clears throat> a rundown on it, the new hunter Wu Chang. I'm going to make an analysis and a hunter guide. So just watch out for all of those videos. I have a lot dropping over the coming days. Very exciting time. So let's get into the patch notes. <clears throat> okay, maintenance content for this week. New gameplay. The new Duo Hunters gameplay pits two hunters against eight survivors in an intense game of cat and mouse. Other game mechanics have also been introduced in this new game mode. This game mode is only available for some phones due to performance limitations. The list of phone models supporting the 8v2 mode. iOS is iPhone 6 above. It's iPad Air 2 above. Um, for Android, Snapdragon 808, Exynos 7420, Kirin 935. So uh, if you have an Huawei phone... Uh, if you have process carrying 935 or better, you're good. If you have a Samsung phone, but you're an international Samsung, Exynos 7420 or better. <clears throat> and if you have just a regular Android phone, Snapdragon 808 or better. Um, and you need to have 35 Persona to play, and then you can pick Hunters or Survivors. It will be available daily from... It's UTC or uh, server time 6 to 8, 16 to 18, 21 to 23. So in American uh, Standard Central Time, this is 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. It is 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it's 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So... That's just a rundown. You can convert it to your own time. Uh, Eastern Standard Time is just an hour later. Western Standard Time is just two hours earlier. Mountain, one hour earlier. <laughs> and if you're international, uh, I don't know. So, five telephone booths have been added to maps from where hunters and survivors can phone the owner of the manor and use phones to buy items. These items include those found in previous game modes, excluding the cane, holy key, and lasso, the exclusive ones. And they have new items for the duo hunters game mode. Survivors can now carry two items and hunters can carry one. And yes, this means priestess, uh, mind's eye, and cowboy can now carry an item not that they usually have. Like a mind's eye can have a flare gun or a football. Survivors need to be hit three times to be incapacitated. The first time a survivor is placed on a rocket chair, the match will enter con the confinement stage, during which time the survivor cannot be rescued from the rocket chair. When this stage ends, a short, short rescue stage begins in which the survivor can be rescued. So basically, this is kind of to stop camping because there's no point in camping because it's like 45 seconds. That they can't be saved. So you're just wasting 45 seconds of decoding time camping. 
when you can go after other survivors. Um, so yeah, this for everyone who hates campers. I don't, but <laughs> if you hate campers or whatever, uh, this should be good for you. So there's not that much camping in this mode. The number of cipher machines have been changed to 11. The time required to decode each machine has been increased, and survivors now need to decode seven cipher machines instead of five to activate the gate. When the gate has been activated or when so four survivors remain, the crowbar will randomly appear at one of the five booths, and survivors can buy it with the points to open the dungeon in advance through which all survivors can escape. So this is different from regular. If you buy the crowbar, all four survivors can escape through that dungeon. Um, I skip one. <clears throat> okay, no. So new map. The park has become a taboo subject for nearby residents after a nightmarish gathering. The all-new Moon River Park map is now available and will be available for quick or custom matches during the first week, but not ranked matches. Uh, the second week, next maintenance ranked matches for the new map. I uh, will have a map overview video on that to just detail it going over with Lawyer. So subscribe if you want to see that an event is also coming duo hunters event the all new duo hunters mode is here play three duo hunters matches every day minimum of 3,000 deduction points or win three normal games to complete corresponding tasks during the event complete task and claim the troubled emote for soul weaver the ripper ember gamekeeper and shards in the event menu um so, this is the second emote to come for Hunters. The first one was Geisha Dance, but that was pretty lame. This one's a little bit cooler. I think it's just them face palming. So, it's a little bit cooler, but hey, it's something at least. And to celebrate the new mode. Now, for the shop. The character, the Hunter Wu Chang, or better known as Black and White, is now available for purchase using clues 40 4508 clues or echoes i think like 858 echoes and will be made available in rank matches now as well i will have an analysis video on him tomorrow on how good i think he will be how viable he'll be in rank matches from a top 1500s perspective which i am so i'll have analysis i also have a guide video on him probably friday may take me longer so maybe saturday or sunday uh also the package the red riding hood package is available which includes the mechanics s tier costume um red riding hood and the s accessory the quiver costumes and accessories can be purchased using fragments or echoes this cost the costume costs the same amount as the Geisha Bride costume, so I believe $50. And then if you want both, it costs, I think, like $75 for this. It's really cool. It's probably the best skin in the game, but if you, I, I, I can't cough up 75 bucks for this. But uh, at, for fragments, it'll be 12,888 fragments. Which takes forever to get. I'm at around like 8,000 right now. But it's really cool. If you have the money. You like mechanic. Definitely go for it. Bug fixes. Repair an issue where deduction quests are displayed abnormally for the mind's eye and coordinator. Which may cause problems when trying to select these characters. Repair an issue where the subplot for the gardener prematurely became available. <clears throat> the subplot content is still under development, but we hope to complete development and release it soon. Hope we didn't spoil your day. Yes, you did, Identity 5. You did spoil my day because it's taking forever for them to bring the story content. The characters are coming super quick, but the story content is coming painfully slowly. So slowly 
to Global. And this was finally the first new part of story. Such a great story, such great lore. And they have to remove it. I didn't even get the chance to do it. But I'm sure when it actually comes out, it'll be great. Um, repaired an issue where a client prompt is displayed to some players concerning a special matching queue. And they repaired an issue where invite prompts are untranslated when you match up. So uh, lots of times you get invited to be like a spectator. It's in Chinese. And of course you'll get 200 uh, clues for the maintenance. So usually I would do a analysis of the new character. But I'll just do a separate video tomorrow on that. Uh, so tomorrow you can split the analysis on the n new hunter. Maybe gameplay on the new hunter. <coughs> Uh, probably Hunt 8 versus 2 gameplay for Hunter and Survivor, possibly commentary, possibly not. Uh, after that, I'll have, going through the weekend, a guide on the new Hunter, ranking videos for 8 versus 2, tips and tricks for 8 versus 2, how to play, how to win, stuff like that. So watch out. <clears throat> please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, hashtag grow to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We're about 150 away. I am doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. Hashtag grow to 1,000 subscribers. So if you want to be in the giveaway, if you want to support the channel, please subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. I do everything Identity 5 related. And on that note, I'll end the video. Bye.